supposed to have a, another tropical storm today in a few hours, but uh, let's take another morning walk through a New York City park. This is Fort Greene Park in Brooklyn, Brownstone, Brooklyn. And this uh, park is surrounded by brownstones, beautiful neighborhood. And a lot of people bring their dogs here to walk and to uh, play in a free area, which we'll see in a little bit. It's really muggy out right now. It's like 90% humidity. There's uh, some historical significance to this park, which if I find a uh, good informational plaque, I'll talk about it a little bit. Fix my backpack here for a second. Black dog. <laughs> See how you get through here. That's uh, the uh, growing downtown Brooklyn skyline where there's always new buildings going up. That's to the southwest of us. down the slope you see that bus down there that's on Myrtle Avenue along the northern edge of the park all right here's a good informational sign that I will just poke at and you can read through it if you want to put it on freeze frame but uh, Basically, this, uh, there's a mass grave underneath the top of the hill here where um, men and women who were prisoners on British ships during the Revolutionary War are buried. And it's a pretty gruesome story, but that's uh, my Fort Greene Park is a meaningful park as well as a beautiful park so this monument says the prison ship martyrs monument which was built in 1908 and it looks like it's been refurbished because it looks in good shape Park's really made a comeback. It um, really was known as kind of a druggy park, where not 
good things went on in the 80s and uh, the city has fixed it up piece by piece there's still areas that need to be fixed up but it's come a long way and it's such a beautiful park to begin with that it's always amazing to me that things were let go so much in New York in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, early 90s. So this is a uh, doggy social hour here. And like I've mentioned in another video, dogs in New York are so well behaved generally they can be off the leash and not run away be good canine citizens they're pretty lucky dogs all right let's see if there's a way to get through down here i think there is this is Dog Central here at the southeastern corner of the park. Some tennis courts. Nobody on them this morning. Maybe they've played already. Some puppies. I always wanted to see this from walking by it because I ride my bike by here on my way to work. And I see everybody from blocks around bringing their dogs to the park. So this park gets a grade A from the canine community. So we're walking towards the southern end of the park. You can see more of the beautiful brownstones. It's along Decalb Avenue. It runs along the south side of the park. Heading towards downtown Brooklyn. So this is their outdoor time for a lot of the dogs here. They have to go back and stay inside most of the day. I mean, the yard, the uh, houses here do have yards behind them. They're not big yards, so it's not a huge area. So this is like Disneyland to them. Be able to come here and see everybody who's anybody in the dog world. No pets off leash except before 9 a.m. Well, it's 10 to 9. So, and here's one of the beautiful side streets, South Oxford Street in Fort Greene. It's a new playground there. Take one last look around. And we're going to come here and end the video here at Washington 
Park and DeKalb Avenue in the Fort Greene Historic District. All right, that's your morning walkthrough for this week of the New York City Park. See you in the next video.